Mrs. Peach, Stifty Levine. I'm so happy you're here today. I was in the mood for some soup and I have some things in my refrigerator. I thought if I added, it would make a good base for soup. So watch and see what I do. A little hint, roasted hummus is going to be in there. Okay, I have some onions already cut up and I'm putting a little bit of olive oil in it. And I already have my pan heating. So I'm going to just stick this in there. Then I'm going to put some green peppers that I get at Walmart or Dollar Tree. I've gotten them both places before. Whoops, that's a little chunk there. That'll work. You can see. Okay, this is getting a little more tender and it's picked all of its all of its oil out and now I'm going to put a little can of uh, diced tomatoes in it. Then I'll put some water in this. I'll put, okay that's one can of water. I'm sure I'll put a few cans of water in it. And then I'm going to, I have this little Norris beef Norse beef bouillon. I'm going to put a spoonful of that in it. Of course, remember that has lots of salt in it. So I probably won't use a lot of salt. I'm going to put some pepper in it. I think I've told you before, I don't like the sprinkled... Um, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put a whole... Just to your, your taste. This is a teaspoon and I'm not putting near that much in it. But all these are always to your taste. I'm going to put some of this garlic pepper garlic pepper seasoning and it has salt in it as a first ingredient so by the time I get through adding all of these I won't need salt okay I've had one can of water in it so far and three cans of water I think that'll make a nice I love base bay leaves in my soup to me, they just add an extra flavor in there. You, After you get to cooking it, you can take it out. That one's a little bent up. Here you go, a couple more. Okay, so that's got to heat up. But my ingredients is the hummus. I think the top shows it better. Roasted hummus. Now, I wouldn't go out and buy this. You can even mash up garbanzo beans if you wanted. But this I had on hand, and I knew if I didn't use it, it's going to go bad. That's roasted peppers at the top of it. Look at that. I'm gonna. That will make it thicker. I'll save just a little bit in case I decide to want to do it. I've made homemade hummus several times, and it's really good. And it's just, and it's way cheaper than buying one of these containers. Actually, I think my son bought this one. But uh, sometimes I have to retrieve things out of the refrigerator and use them before they get old. You see it's getting lighter in color. I need some veggies. I have some, some of the veggies. By the way, I got these at Timu. And I have a new order coming in. I'm going to be showing you some more of what I get. This is California blend of um, the carrots and the broccoli and cauliflower. See how mine... I try to, to uh, close them up tight. And I have these and they seem to do very well. They seem to lump up. I don't know if it's my freezer or what. It's just the top of the refrigerator. Okay, I got some cut okra. Does anybody like okra? Well, there goes some. It's kind of tough too. Hold on. Okay, that should do it. Okay, I'm not going to put a ton of any of these in. Granddaughter is coming over. I don't know if she would have a bowl of soup with me or not. Who knows? We'll see. I have some kale that I was going to ruin if I didn't get it in the freezer. So I took my pack, and I'd used quite a bit of a fresh, and now I've got it frozen. And, you know, you can just mash this up, and it, it mashes up even better. One last thing, 
I'm going to put in this. I made a package of Knorr cheddar cheese soup. Um, well, it was a mix, that uh, a side dish. And I, it was okay. But it wasn't something I just absolutely love. So it's sitting here from a couple days ago. When I made it, I added some frozen veggies with this and made it a little bit more bulked it up. So I'm just going to add just, um, not the whole thing, because this I have the noodles in it too. Okay, that's a little cauliflower there. Okay, you know what? I think, now I'm going to wait a little while before I put that um, pail in there, and i got to taste this. This is um, going to be any good at all. Oh. Flavors are pretty tasty. Okay, now I've just got to let that cook. And I'll be back. It hasn't started boiling, but I think I, I pulled some some peas out of the fr freezer, and you see how they're clumped up, but they'll unclump here, and the little extra moisture won't hurt this at all. So I'm going to add that, and I'm going to go ahead and add some of this kale, and I'm going to break it up a little bit. We'll see what happens. I'm, I still got to bring it to boil. Oops. Okay, they say quick kale is good for you, and we know that to be true. So, now it's just got to cook tender. And I may adjust the flavors at the very end, but I've got plenty of veggies in there. There's protein with that hummus in there. Okay, here is the soup. Check it out. Now I'm going to try it. I'm just, um, let's see if I can pour it in this bowl without spilling it. See that? I'm going to turn this camera around and take a bite for you. Okay, I'm back with my soup. I put a couple of crackers in this already and I like crackers in my soup. You may and you may not. You know, another thing good is a, a few crumbled up uh, tortilla chips. That always makes it better, too. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Remember, you can make soup if you like soup. Not everybody likes soup like I do, but I like to have it in the refrigerator. And I like them much better than the canned soups you buy uptown. They, they always, to me, taste so much better. Also, you can use your canned veggies or your frozen. Remember, they usually take those at the height of freshness and can them or freeze them. And when you, when you get the canned ones, if you're worried about the sodium, you can always rinse them off and go from there. And you don't have to put the base like I do in it. You can do it your way. I hope you enjoyed this and hope it inspires you to, to just save what you got in your refrigerator and use it. And join me every time. I appreciate it so, so much when you do. Comment. I love it when you comment. And come back and join me. And God bless you.